Hey everyone, I'm still sick and had nothing prepared for today, so here's me barely remembering. Hey, I've been trying really hard to draw the remaining ARMS characters this week before SAC Anime through my sickness. That's a thing I can record, we should probably actually post more art on the channel sometimes, and I realized this as I was pretty much finishing up the last one, so here's me kind of just doing the last parts of this Dr. Coil GB. Hopefully it'll be kind of informative or something. People seem to like my crazy color choices on chibis which is super nice but my method of finding these colors is pure chaos and mostly by accident also to answer a possible question on your mind once this gets started i didn't bother drawing their full bodies since it's just for buttons okay let's get started i always learn something new with every drawing and something i learned this time around was a new command I saw a huge difference in color between both screens, specifically on Dr. Coil, and freaked out. Look at that. After Googling it, it turns out Control y makes it so that the screen has a CMYK preview. Now, for those of you that don't work with printing, here's a basic explanation that I go by since I don't really understand the super technical side of it. RGB is the default for digital drawing files. It gives you the full expanse of colors that can be displayed by computer screens. But when you convert it to CMYK, a lot of the colors get really dull as the palette is more limited since it's optimized for printing and print cartridges. Unfortunately for me, I pressed this command long before starting Dr. Coil's colors, so she's eye-blindingly bright in RGB. <laughs> and that, like everybody else is drawn in RGB too. So I basically colored in CMYK for the first time with Dr. Coil. Uh, CMYK heavily affects greens and blues for the most part, especially cyan, so you really have to prepare yourself for major disappointment whenever you switch to it, but now I know a quick way to show a preview, which is super handy. I don't have to click image, mode, CMYK, and wait for it to take freaking forever to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along from that though, the way I usually pick my colors for the chibis, it varies wildly, but I usually tend to like to put a warm light on one side and a cool light on the other side after I fill in the base colors. I just pick a color that looks nice, brush it on, um, and then just start cycling through the layer menus uh, along with adjusting opacity. That's really the biggest part of it. I've uh, learned a bit more over time what certain colors and layer modes will do to certain other colors, but uh, for the most part, it's really just experimenting and playing around with everything to see if I can find something I like. Now, I tend to forget to do this, but once I find a layer mode I like, I have to remember to set it back to normal and 100% opacity to grab the original color for when I want to come back to it. Otherwise, if you color pick the color it shows up as, um, it's going to come out different when you brush it on. Feel me? You get me? So that's what those uh, little blobs of color are there for. Um, and a huge time saver that my friend Corin taught me was the control U command, which brings up hue and saturation, and it only affects that layer. So now I can just brush on a color and then cycle through a bunch of different ones until I find one I like. This especially helped a lot when I was coloring the line art in different sections and I needed to adjust their colors after brushing on the uh, warm and cool highlights on top. Now for the highlights, uh, the screen layer mode is one of my favorites since it just makes a blindingly bright layer that pierces through everything like I did with the yellow on her right side. Though the original color to create that yellow was that orange blob that you see on the top right of her head. Um, that was the color I used and then I brushed it on and turned it on to screen layer mode. Create that beautiful color searing your eyes. Basically, my goal is to destroy your eyes with colors. And so if it's doing that, then good. My plan is working. <laughs> uh, well, going off topic from Photoshop itself for a little bit, since I tend to like chatting about what was going on in my life or my thoughts during the point in time in my drawing videos, um, I'm super proud and happy that I was able to finish these up. And I'm pretty satisfied with how they turned out. Part of my New Year's resolution was to finish the remaining five before SAC Anime, remaining five uh, ARMS characters. They were DLC that came out after the original cast. So mission accomplished, even though I started the first of the five characters months ago, but Dr. Coil is the latest character who just came out like two weeks ago. So whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, when this video comes out, it'll be the first day of 
the convention SAC Anime in Sacramento. So please visit me in Berkeley at table B03 if you're there. Uh, this will be my first out of town con. I'm from the Los Angeles area and this one's in Sacramento. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty nervous about it, but I, I am looking forward to it. Um, it's mostly been Berkeley figuring this out, but it's been really stressful thinking about how to compact our increasing load of merchandise into a single luggage without exceeding the weight limit. Um, cause we usually also, we usually have it in a luggage and then we also have a bunch of external stuff, just like random bags and other things, which, uh, we can't bring with us. We paid for like the cheapest economy things. So they kind of limit our carry-ons and check-ins and stuff like that. We're trying to spend as little as possible for transportation and hotel fees and stuff since it's tough breaking even and making a decent profit as it is without all that extra stuff. But I am looking forward to it. Um, I hear it's a pretty big convention and I hope the three of us will do well. Uh, us being me, Berkeley, and Paper who won't be there this time. Uh, we're trying to sign up for a lot of conventions this year and every year it gets increasingly and insanely competitive so it gets harder to make it into just local cons so we'll be going out of town more often and sac anime is gonna be our test run i don't really like the idea of having to travel around with all that merch through an airport and all that and needing to pay for hotels rather than just going from home and using my own car but uh, hopefully it'll be viable um, I really want to expand and make more merchandise, go to more n new places. Uh, really, I just I just want to draw more this year because like the time gaps between me me making full illustrations is getting ridiculously long each time. But I I think I should be less hard on myself and also be proud of the fact that I made a lot of things last year and the start of this year too. It takes me a lot of effort to draw just anything really so i should be more proud of myself um what's really been helping lately is that i've started using discord more and i really enjoy the very smooth screen share option which uh, didn't roll out until maybe a couple of months ago um in the past my friends and i tried all kinds of different programs and websites but they were all really laggy or didn't support uh, multiple screens very well for when we wanted to draw together over the internet so God, what have we gone through over the years? Um, live stream, I remember, I think that's the oldest one. And then uh, there was Join Me, Google Hangouts, Skype. Um, and I'd never really looked into like Twitch or Picarto since that sounds more like a public streaming thing. But Discord though, I have been happily screen sharing with three or more people at the same time and did it on crappy cafe internet one time. It's also become a stress-free place to share random sketches and work in progresses with friends since like with social media, you tend to feel pressured to put out something that looks more polished and presentable, which is pretty rare for me. Okay, and here it is. This image is the entire page in CMYK, so everything looks a bit dull, except I intended Dr. Coyle to look like that. And this page is everything in RGB, so she's become eye-searingly saturated, but everyone else looks normal and as intended. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so glad I managed to finish these. Um, if you're interested in these by chance and can't make it to the con, no worries. I'll post them in our Etsy soon. Uh, the original cast is already up on our Etsy, but I'll be adding the remaining five. So thanks for watching this mess of a video. I hope it was fun or you learned a thing or two. Uh, sorry, it was so last minute. I'm sick. So anyways, I will see you next time. This is Axis, over and out.